did we did what we had to do to establish a two-goal lead heading into the third. And you know, for our team, that's usually our bread and butter. We're really good at you know having that killer instinct and and uh, you know shutting it down and playing our best period in the in the third. And fortunately, uh, it wasn't there. We weren't you know losing battles in the in the D zone and uh, our execution of our breakouts and supporting one another wasn't there and. It ends up in our net. Milan, does it? Bad moments for the team, like, way anymore as they go on, just given the start this team's had with some bad breaks and some bad losses. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think, uh, you know, when you look at it, you make and break your breaks, and, uh, um, you know, right now we're not getting them just because of some, you know, sloppy pay- plays and, you know, miscommunications and I guess uh, brain farts and, you know, just not doing the right things, especially in the D zone where we're so good and, you know, we uh, give up three goals in the third period, which is very uncharacteristic of our team. So, I mean, eventually you have to kind of take a step back and, you know, say to yourself, um, you know, you got to respect the game plan and and play as a team, and you saw in Toronto what it can do for you when you when you play together. You know, uh, it, it, it makes a it makes it a lot easier to play as an individual and as a team. And I think we need to focus on that uh, moving forward. Is the loss more disappointing, given the, the effort of your line and your, your personal performance? You're moving pretty pretty well tonight. Uh, I mean. You know, it was it was good that we were able to, you know, do what we did as a line, uh, but you know, you know, not calling anyone out, you know, just goes to show that you need all 20 guys to do their part in order to win a hockey game in this league. And uh, like I said, go back to that Toronto game, and we have everyone uh, pulling their weight and doing their job at their best, and we win the game 4-1. So, um, you know, it sucks that. You don't get a win after, uh, you know, getting, you know, playing the way that you did as a line, but you, know, you have to continue building off of it. They say that the two goal lead is the worst one in hockey, but it's been usually pretty locked down for you guys in the past. But is this just a, a good lesson that you know for the next six weeks that, that nothing's going to be in the bank, uh, you know, before the game is over? Yeah, for sure. You know, it, it better be a, a good lesson that you know we can't take any lead, two goals, three goals, anything lightly. So. Um, you know, we got to take this as a as a lesson that we got to play for a full 60 minutes, and and uh, that's you know it's the NHL, right? I mean, it's best players, best teams, and you know that's why you got to play your best for a full 60 minutes in order to win in this league. 40, 42 shots is that alarming at all to allow that? I mean, they seemed like they were controlling portions of that game. Yeah, way too much. I mean, you look at it, probably you know nine of the 11 games we played, we've kept the teams under 30 shots. Um, you know, in those games, and you know, that's what you try to do as a team, and especially as a team like us, where we're a checking team that can score. So, you know, it's not it's not a good thing when you're giving up that many shots. So, like I said, we just gotta, I guess, communicate better, execute better in a, in a D zone, so we can get going uh, the other way. You mentioned that you learn a lesson from a game like this. I mean, aside from 2011 and 12, beginning of that season, you guys haven't really had starts where there have been that many lesson games. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, every every start of the season is, is is different, and, you know, I don't think uh, we've ever really had one like this where, you know, you win one, lose one, win one, lose one. So, um, again, in saying that and thinking about it, you know, you want to do what you can to build consistency in your game, night in, night out, night in, night out, and I don't think that's what we have right now is that consistency uh, in every game. So when we can find, you know, we, when we can find that, I think that'll help us, uh, you know, put some wins together and uh, um, get going in the right direction. Are you, able to, are you able to judge your play individually right now without even thinking about the injury at this point? I mean, is this, is this a case where you are yourself now? Yeah, definitely thinking about it a lot, lot less. Uh, it's feeling good as far as... Uh, you know, the, the injury goes, and uh, at the start, it was definitely weighing on me, and I was a little hesitant and, and scared to get into those places where I need to go 
be effective for my linemates and, and, and for the team. So it's definitely uh, moving in the right direction. I don't know if you are. Just what? 